Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Gossip About Gossip. My name is Zenobia Godschalk, and I am formerly the SVP of communications at Hedera, and now hold that same role at Swirl Labs. I am here today with Lehman and Mance to talk a little bit about our transition and the road ahead. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good. Thank oh, you. good to be here. Good, good. So, Mance, um, for those who don't recall the details, can you remind us um, what steps the council took earlier this year and how we got to this point on this exciting new adventure today? Yeah, in 2017, it was just me and Lehman when we decided to create the project. Of course, we hired the initial team and went to work and building the software and recruiting a council. One of the very first things that we focused on was as quickly as possible, decentralizing governance of the network. And we took a major first step in that in February, 2019, when we added the first five members to the council, had a council of five at that point, and uh, has since grown that to 26 council members today. We're growing to 39 but we have a very robust governance model and system in place today. And uh, we decided last year, early last year, that it was time to not only decentralize governance, but decentralize operations as well. The first step in that was to create the HBAR Foundation to uh, basically move the part of Hedera that would otherwise be involved in those types of activities out of Hedera, and they went to the HBAR Foundation. The next step in decentralizing operations was voted on in December by the council. The council decided it's time to go ahead and do two things, actually. One is to open source the software, which we will be doing this year. We've already made that announcement. And the other is to go ahead and move the rest of operations into another legal entity and to move it out, in other words. And um, the name of that entity is Swirls Labs and it Swirls Labs now exists. Lehman and I have made the move along with most all of the people that previously worked for Hedera. They've moved with us. That includes marketing and product and engineering and a lot of back office legal and HR and finance, et cetera. And we now have moved into what very likely will be sort of the final form, last phase, if you will, of the Hedera structure. Hedera is a global network. It's got this fantastic governing council that who runs the nodes in the network. They also govern the network and govern operations of the, of the network. And Swirls and Swirls Labs are just part of the ecosystem, like all the other members of the network and those that use the, the platform. So that's, that's how we got to where we are today. And it's a major milestone. It's a big step for us. Been a lot of work that's gone into this. And we're happy to announce that it's now complete. Mance, I think, you know, all of us internally are very excited. And a lot of the conversations have been about what we will be able to do going forward. Can you and Lehman both share? I think you know the broader community is wondering what exactly will Swirls Labs do now? Yeah, well, I'll start. So uh, for the most part, much of our day-to-day -day job duties don't change. We'll continue providing the same type of development of the Hedera network and core services that we've been doing, doing everything from looking over the overarching strategic direction of the platform, to working with the community, to implementing HIPs. To be clear, the product roadmap is set by TechCom, the Technical Steering Committee of Hedera, not Swirls Labs, right? Swirls Labs builds the software, 
But again, governance is done by the council and that includes establishing the priorities and setting the product roadmap for the software that's being developed. Our DAs or developer advocates will continue to support and engage with the developers in the same way that they have in the past. They'll make sure that we have the tools and resources that are needed to build a massively scalable uh, application on the platform, not just us, but for, for the community at large. And the marketing team will continue to tell the stories that, um, that we, we think are, are important to tell about the dApps and, and the others that are using the Hedera network. So by and large, the things that have been done inside of Hedera are now being done inside of Swirl Labs. But in addition to that, Swirl Labs will do other things. The world's largest enterprises have told us that they need someone to build a set of products that make it super easy for enterprises to hook into and use the Hedera network. To draw an analogy, just like AWS or Amazon Web Services initially only provided infrastructure as a service, they quickly realized that customers needed platform as a service capabilities to truly utilize AWS at scale. And Swirls Labs is likely to help develop APIs and open source components for services such as loyalty token management, bond issuance, NFT marketplaces, peer-to-peer -peer payments, and, and many others of that flavor, those that general flavor, if you will, but provide them as platform as a service capabilities. And we anticipate that uh, by and large, these will be open source components. So I'm um, gonna continue doing what we've done in the past. We're gonna help the community of uh, users today by providing utilities and services that sit on top of the layer one APIs. And then there are other things that we may do as well. Lehman? So this is exciting. We've had the council doing you know, Hedera, all it want as one thing, doing everything. Now we're splitting it out. The council will be hiring Swirls Labs to build the network, but it'll be hiring others in the community to build the network. And Swirls Labs will be working to build the bear network for Hedera, but we'll also be branching out. They'll be branching, we will be branching out in the ways that Mads described. We'll also be branching out in other ways to help the community. For example, the community needs open source tooling. So we have hashscan.io that we have now released. Uh, Hashscan.io is a ledger explorer, like a blockchain explorer, and it is pretty powerful. I really like what these guys have built. We've released it all open source. Other people can take it and also run their own explorer nodes or, or servers, and they can modify it and add new features to it and uh, continue to build it. So that's an example of the kind of things that we're doing, building tooling for the community. And we have a lot of things we want to do to help build this ecosystem. We want this entire Hedera ecosystem to be built. So we'll, of course, be doing the things we're doing now, of building the ledger, but we are going to be branching out in lots of other ways. We even have all sorts of lab projects, uh, research projects that we're doing on things that we can do. We are talking about DREC, where you're going to be able to um, recover passwords and things in ways that really is easy enough that your grandmother can do it. Uh, we are going to be doing... Uh, not to me, your grandmother isn't intelligent. I had a brilliant grandmother, Latin teacher, all sorts of cool things. Anyway, uh, but so, so great that anyone could do it. Even I could do it. This is the idea. Um, really easy. Uh, we're looking at things, uh, cryptographic things to make state proofs incredibly powerful. I've done whole webinars before on state proofs. We have ideas to make them even more powerful than that by inventing new cryptography, uh, cryptographic techniques and things for that. We're talking about things with time-locked encryption, all sorts of interesting things that we're working on in the lab that we'll be able to roll out. We'll be able to release these things. The community can use it. The community can build on it and modify it and, and create new things from it. And we can build this ecosystem even more. Uh, this is very exciting. This new phase allows us to do all kinds of things that we weren't doing before. Very, very exciting. Um, Lehman, it is hard to believe it has been almost a decade since you started socializing the idea of shared worlds. Um, you know, if we look back and maybe get sentimental for just a minute, 
um, you know, if you don't mind, maybe giving us a quick retrospective on some of the key highlights and, um, you know, and things that we have done to get up to this point and to get us well prepared for this future. <laughs> a decade ago was 2012. 2012 is when I started thinking about this interesting math problem. Could you do consensus really fast and ABFT at the same time, secure and fast at the same time? Convince myself repeatedly, no, you can't do that. You have to choose. You can't do both. And 2015, realized how to do it. Oh, just add a couple of hashes. And now you suddenly have a graph that connects, connects with hashes. And it's a history of what we've done. And you can do virtual voting. You can run these ABFT algorithms with virtual voting. So they're super fast because you don't do any communication at all for the actual consensus. That's really fast. So that was 2015. That took a while. And then in late 2015, we established Swirls to build this private ledgers based on Hashgraph. In 2017, we established Hedera to do that very thing as a public ledger. So we're using Hashgraph, but as a public ledger. And then in 2018, we announced it to the world. And in 2019, we got our first council members. Uh, it just seems like things go faster and faster as you're going over time. And then in uh, now we have Swirls Labs coming out. Notice my logo right up here. This is the Swirls Labs logo, SL. Uh, we are just now having this new project, this Swirls Labs, and we will continue doing work on the ledger, building the bottom ledger, ledger which Hedera will have us doing, but they'll have others do it too in the ecosystem. And then we'll do other things beyond that to help build the ecosystem. And so it's been a long road since 2012, but things just keep getting faster and faster and faster. And now it's just exploding. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. Well, Lehman, Mance, the new co-CEOs of Swirls Labs, um, I personally am very excited for this journey. Um, for our audience, we hope you continue to tune in and we will share updates as they come. As Lehman said, probably more quickly, more fast and furious than ever before. Um, so stay tuned. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a great one.